guys and gals, sweet project cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. Uh, today we're talking about busted bolts. We're talking about screw extractors. And you know when you bust a bolt off like this one right here, that it's never in a really good, easy place to get to. But I'm going to give you some of my tips. Now I know many of you have your choice ways of removing a bolt. I understand that. We're just showing you our way. And we found some new extractors we've been using for quite a while now. We're very impressed with them. They work way better than these. They work way better than these. And this, I can tell you that right now. So let's get moving. Now, here's a tip that we use. Many of you will take a broken screw. You can see that this one right here is they're all jaggedy on top. Now, if there's a little bit sticking up above it, a lot of times you can get a pair of vice grips on it, like say, needle nose, vice grips, grab a hold of it and turn it out. What we do is, if we know we're pulling a bolt out that could twist off on us, we'll spray our spin off on it a couple of days beforehand, let it set and go that route. All right, now here's the kicker. Like I said, most of these are never in a really easy place to get to. Never let a broken bolt scare anybody away because they're not that bad. You need a punch, usually. And the best thing you can do is find as close to center as you can get. Okay. Now what everybody will do is they'll usually take the drill bit they're going to use and they'll drill it out. Well, what happens with the smaller drill bits, and this is one of our tips, is that it will jump all over the place. The key, as you all know that have done this many times, which I'm sure most of you have, is to get the hole as dead center of that busted off stud as you can. So what we do is we will take a drill bit that is way larger than we need. And this is the one we're going to use. And you want a really good quality drill bit when you're doing this. And we were actually going to do another wash video. Of course, Michigan decided it wanted to be cold again and rotten and nasty. And what we do when we do a bigger drill bit is we find the center of it. And if you can get over it and see right where you're drilling it, And we'll make that even larger. So it would be like we put a much larger dent in it with our punch. Now we'll go to an even larger drill bit. This one. We got our handy dandy DeWalt. And now we'll drill it out even larger. And if you're wondering what we do with our old microfiber towels that have had it, this is what we use them for. Now what I did was I taped this off because I, if you run into a situation where you can only go so deep, like we just did one on a bolt of a bracket that was below a radiator tank. And we did not want to drill through it and puncture the bottom of the radiator tank. The radiator we were working on was about $2,000. So we had to make sure we didn't do that. So we want to be as close to dead center. We've got a nice big cut in this takes out all the rough edges around there so your drill bit isn't jumping all over the place now we will drill our hole and the nice thing about this is you can tilt the drill bit wherever you want to make sure you keep it in the center it's real easy to do when you have a really big divot that we've drilled in the top of this Take a look at it, make sure you're in the center as much as possible. If you're not, drill off to the center there. And where most people fail when they're doing this is they will drill too far off, they will drill into the side of it and eat away at the bolt. And then what happens is the easy out or screw extractor cannot do its job because you just left nothing there for it to grab a hold of. So you want to keep it in the center. You want your drill bit to be about half the size or so of the bolt itself.
Now, if you can see that, you see how much of the wall is left. Now, the screw extractors that we like to use are these new twist type. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. They go opposite. Usually it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Well, with these, it's the opposite. It would be lefty, righty, loosey. <laughs> it's opposite with these. So all you do is you stick it in there. You don't have to tap these, do any of that. All you do is put it in, and then instead of going right to tighten it, you go left to tighten it. It's like that. Now it's snugging up, and it's already starting to turn it. And these are really strong. We have not broke one of these yet. So it's coming right out. That simple.